We wanted to follow up our last video that created a scriptable object data manager with a similar treatment for mono behaviors. In this video, we'll create a custom Odin editor window that will draw the inspectors for mono behaviors that have been decorated with a new manageable attribute. This window will make use of the GUI utilities class we created in the previous video to draw buttons at the top of the window for each of the types to display. We'll provide links to both the video and the code in the description below, but this video will only briefly look at the GUI utilities class. Put together, the Odin editor windows created in this video and the previous video provide a cleaner and easier to use replacement for our game manager series of videos. Just like we did in the previous video, we'll create a new attribute that can decorate the mono behaviors that we want to include in our new Odin editor window. The attribute will need to inherit from system.attribute, so we will need to add the system namespace. The attribute itself is being used simply to tag or identify mono behaviors, so we can leave the attribute empty with no additional functionality. Next, we'll create our editor window. This class will need access to multiple namespaces, including serenix.odinspector.editor, system, system.link, and unity editor. The class will need to inherit from Odin editor window. Note that this is different from the last video in which our class inherited from Odin editor menu window. Next, we need to create an array of the types that will be displayed in the window. To do that, we'll once again make use of reflection and the function typecache.getTypes with attribute, this time using our new manageable attribute. We can then arrange the types by name and convert the results to an array. We'll also need to cache the selected type in order to know which inspector to draw in the window. We'll do this by creating a new variable of the type type and then call it selected type. In order to open the window, we can create a new function called open editor that will call the get window function. We can add the menu item attribute to the function. This will add the item to our tool menu, allowing us to easily open our new window. Next, we need to override the on GUI function to draw the buttons that will select which mono behavior to draw in the window. Here, we'll make use of our GUI utilities class that we created in the previous video. This class has two functions, one that draws an individual button and a second that we are calling from our Odin editor window class that draws the entire row of buttons, one button for each of our types to display. Again, we'll provide links in our description to the GUI utilities class, as well as to our previous video where we cover the class in more detail. Inside the on GUI function, we'll call the select button list function and pass in a reference to our selected type variable, as well as an array of all the types to display. Then we need to call base.onGUI to ensure the rest of the window is drawn correctly. Our last step is to assign the target for the Odin editor window to draw, and we'll do this by overriding the getTarget function. Inside the function, we'll check if the selected type is null. If it is, we'll return null. We're doing this to avoid errors that might come from the next couple of lines when the window is first opened and no type is selected. If selected type is not null, we can search the scene with find object of type and return the object that is found. If the type can't be found in the current scene, we'll return null and nothing will be drawn in the window for that particular type. The final step is to decorate any model behaviors that we want to include in the window with a manageable attribute and open our new window. So there you go, an easy way to bring in your model behaviors into a custom Odin editor window. We hope that was interesting and better yet, useful for you and your project. And until next time, happy game designing.